Let me tell you, style problems and style challenges are universal. So that's why I'm making this body type series. Today I'm featuring Judy. Judy is tall and beautiful, hourglass shape, and I can't wait to share some of the strategies with you that I shared with her. Hi, this is Neto. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. I'm excited about today's installment of the body type series. This one features Judy. I, I love Judy. I've gotten to know Judy um, over the last few weeks, corresponding by email and kind of working on her style with her. And if this is something that sounds like it might be intriguing to you, if you would like my feedback on your outfits, on your body type, on how to look and feel your best every single day, definitely send me an email to support at netamanley.com. I definitely need more candidates for this body type series and I think it's useful for all of us to see different women, different body types, different ages, different parts of the world. Um, and there are unique wardrobe challenges because many of those are going to be things that we can all relate to and that we are all struggling with, with many of the same challenges. We all think nobody has this specific body type or this specific set of circumstances as I do. But believe it or not, so much of this is universal. So I hope you're going to learn as much from Judy and enjoy getting to know her the way that I have. So Judy is about 5'8". Um, 72 years young and you know I love that she said this because um, I my mom always said there's 35 and there's 35 there's a 35 year old that looks 30 or acts 30 feels 30 a 35 year old that acts 50 Judy is definitely a young 72 year old and she's beautiful she lives in Canada so uh, the shopping recommendations I made for her were were from Reitman's, which is a local department store, so she was able to check them out that way. I will always try to go for a place that's local to where you are. And she says she's retired, she has a busy lifestyle, two grown children, twin children, and two great-grandchildren. She makes quilts, paints, swims, and skis in her spare time. A few years ago, she lost about 40 pounds and has kept it off for the most part, which is really incredible. You'll notice that Judy is tall and slim, she does complain, as many of us do after a certain age, about having a little bit more in the front in the tummy area than she would like. Um, I know that you will agree with me that she looks amazing and we are all the hardest on ourselves, right? But um, I can't wait for you to kind of see how uh, Judy looks in her different outfits, the body type analysis that I've done of her and everything. So Judy is a light color code. That means she's got light coloring overall, light hair, light skin, light eyes, just a beautiful, elegant, light, color palette um, that I that I like to see in her wardrobe and that she's kind of already expressing in her wardrobe. She is a style doll red body type, which is an hourglass. So she is um, proportional through the hips and shoulders and she has a defined waist. Now, you know, that definition is going to change sometimes daily, but she definitely still has a defined waist and um, just a beautiful proportional shape. Okay, let's look at a couple of outfits that Judy sent me that she considers her favorites. The first is this linen dress. Great color for her. Beautiful, beautiful color. Nice, easy, breezy shape. Um, for Judy as a style doll red, I would actually prefer this dress if it had a waist detail that's at her actual waist and not an on pier waist. Um, but I love this. It's a nice, easy, throw on and go casual summer dress in a beautiful shade for her. I definitely like it with this white denim jacket because it adds that waist definition at her natural waist, which I think is always going to be really flattering for her. I think it's just beautiful. Another outfit that she likes is this uh, burgundy leather moto jacket over this floral top and jeans. I love that, that she's wearing a bootcut style jean. Very, very good style for her body type. And she already identified that that was a flattering style for her. Love, love this leather jacket with it and love the combination of floral and the leather. I think that's beautiful. Um, one of the things you're going to hear as a, as a constant theme in this video and many others is that I would love to see this top tucked. Um, and just to see what that looks like with that jacket. But it works better than, than the top untucked by itself because that jacket does give waist definition. Now, a couple of items that, that Judy was struggling with a little. I actually love this uh, black jumpsuit that she has that she was kind of uncertain about. I love the shape of it, love the neckline. I, I like everything about it. The only suggestion I would have with this black jumpsuit is that it might be a little bit of an awkward length, like not short enough to be cropped, not long enough to be a full length. Based on this, um, just this one picture, it seems like the length might be a little bit off and that might be what's bothering her about it. But otherwise, like well done. Waist definition, vertical neckline, checks all 
the boxes. And because Judy has such light coloring, black is actually a very striking and, and pretty color for her, and I, I like it on her. Um, this lace tunic, great color, um, great nice open neckline, but it's so long. And that lace just, you know, it's just overwhelming on her, even at 5'8". So my suggestion would be to have this top altered so that it's a shorter length and more of a waist length. And we're going to see a little bit more of that as we get into this video. Um, but I, I like the color. I think it's got potential. It just definitely needs to be hemmed. Um, now, this is a, a hoodie, a light pink hoodie kind of top that her daughter had made for her. Um, I love the color. Um, the cowl neck can be a little bit harder to wear, so I would open that up a little more if she can, but mostly it just needs to be tucked or shortened. Um, like, you're going to hear that a lot. It needs to be tucked or shortened. Um, the way it is right now, any any tummy area that Judy does have will be amplified by that, but if she brings up that hemline, it's it's just perfection. Um, beautiful color for her. Um, the next outfit is Judy wearing all of her colors, like this is just lounge wear at its best, you know, great, um, great cream colored sweatshirt, pink pants, blue shoes. I, I, I think it's a lovely, like casual, like hanging out at home and being comfortable outfit I, I, that I, I really like. Okay, so I'm going to show you what Judy looks like following some of my guidelines and some of my tips. So she sent me some of these outfits, I gave her some feedback on them, and then she sent me new pictures of, of the outfits incorporating the feedback that I gave her. And I think you're going to see what a remarkable difference, if I do say so myself, what a remarkable difference just a couple of tweaks in an outfit can make, right? Okay, so this first outfit is a hot pink top worn down and, and around the hips with a pair of floral pants and a pair of kind of coppery colored ballet flats with a round toe. Now, I suggested she add a pointed toe flat, tuck the top in, add an interesting um, uh, like little tuck and she would be good to go. Like this top is an easy top to tuck. It doesn't have a lot of volume. So here is the after. The top is tucked. She's wearing a more elongating shoe. And I think that the difference in this is remarkable. I'm gonna put them side by side so you can see what it looks like tucked and untucked. Like what a big difference, right? Now she's already tall and it still is much more flattering for her to have the top tucked. Now, Judy may have a longer torso and, and shorter legs. It's hard for me to tell in this picture and I definitely would recommend that she, she do something like the Fashion Fit Formula because I think she would learn a lot about her vertical proportions. But it, it definitely, the longer top definitely ex extends her torso even longer and shortens her legs, even at her beautiful, enviable height. Okay, next option. Now I kind of felt like this top might be a little bit dated, but there, there are ways to wear these in a more updated way. And so she's wearing it out like this. She's wearing it with the same round toe ballet flats. And so let's see the after with my tweaks. Now, the first, first before she tweaked it, she sent me a picture with the jacket. And as you can see, with the jacket, without the jacket, the top already looks a lot more modern, a lot more flattering, a lot better. A white knit top can sometimes be hard to wear if we feel like we have anything in the tummy area. But when you wear a jacket, it just vert, you know, just just cuts off the sides of your body so that you just look slimmer and narrower all all over. And so I really like the way it looks, even just with that jacket. Now we're gonna try a tuck. So here is the top tucked. I really, really like it. Judy felt like maybe it was highlighting her tummy a little. I do not feel like it's highlighting her tummy, but I suggested that she try the tuck with um, the concave tuck. So hopefully I'll be able to pop up a picture here of Judy with the concave tuck as opposed to a regular tuck. So you can kind of see the difference between those two tucks. Either way, to me, the tuck makes it so much more flattering. Now this tuck under a jacket is going to be an even better look. And so here we have um, she's wearing it with an open denim jacket. If she did this tuck under a jacket, then then any any amplification of the tummy would disappear and this would just be a really flattering look. So my suggestions for any time you feel like your tummy is just standing out because of the tuck, to try the concave tuck or to top it with a jacket. Okay. Another top. She loves this bright, colorful floral top. It's so much fun. It definitely suits her outgoing and fun personality. Um, but again, she's wearing it out and she's wearing it with the round toe ballet flats. So instead, I suggest 
tucking it and she did kind of a little French tuck and kept the sides a little bit lower this time and adding those elongating ballet flats. What a difference, right? Like huge difference to just see the top out and the top tuck. Not only is it more flattering, but it's also so much more modern. Okay, um, let's look at a couple of the items that I suggested that Judy check out from Reitman's, which is her local store. Now, one, I want you to see the difference in some of the items that she already had in her wardrobe and some of the more modern pieces that we're bringing into her wardrobe. This is the first look. I am like, just overwhelmed like i think she looks so beautiful in this modern cardigan sweater now this can be worn as a sweater the way she's wearing it. it can be worn as a cardigan it's a gorgeous color for her she's wearing it with um a beautiful pair of dark boot cut pants and a, a, a shoe that elongates her foot and just a beautiful modern updated silhouette if you don't want to tuck find a sweater that hits you at the waist or a top that hits you at the waist the way this one does then you can curtail the, the tucking thing entirely and just get a really flattering and modern look. I just absolutely love this on her. Now, oh my goodness, this pink blazer jacket with a tucked in top and these black pants and the black pointy toe ballet flats is 100% perfection. She looks beautiful. She looks long and lean and slim. So one of the things is she's wearing it with a more drapey top and not a knit top. So it's not going to cling to any areas where you don't want it to cling. Then she's got this jacket, which is further adding to the flattery and further um, narrowing her waistline. She's got these beautiful black pants that are slim, but not skinny, not skin tight, not stretchy. And then she's got this elongating flat just a gorgeous look that you can pull off today with pieces that you probably already have in your wardrobe. And if not, these are pieces I would consider getting because this is just, this look is just perfection on her. Again, here she is in this kind of blue violet shade um, sweater that again, hits at the waist, nice open neckline, which is really a good, good look for her. Beautiful color, beautiful shape, beautiful silhouette. She's wearing it with a pair of boot cut black pants and those slightly pointier shoes. Beautiful, beautiful look, no tucking involved. Very, very flattering, very modern. And we know those collared sweaters are a big thing for fall, winter. So if you like that look, that is just beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you um, Judy and two different takes on a long white button down. Now this is a white button down shirt that's a little bit longer. Excuse the background noise of the lawn guys. Um, it's a little bit longer. And um, in one picture, she's wearing it all the way out. And the other picture, she's wearing it with a half tuck, like half of the top is tucked in on one side and the other half is left out. I, I think it's a huge difference. I really, really like the half in, half out tuck as opposed to the untucked version of this white top. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it looks so modern. She looks so cool. She looks so confident. She looks like I like... I just, I want to hang out with her. I want to get to know her. She looks like she knows what's going on in the world. Like she just looks very, very modern and very fresh and very fun. And I feel like it brings out her personality. And I, and I just, like I said, I've just loved getting to know her. I love her personality. Um, okay. Let's talk about some faux leather pants. Now, I, I recommended a couple of faux leather pants from Reitman's for her. And so here she is in the faux leather pants with a dark sweater. I love these pants. I love, love, love these pants. Now she feels like they don't have any give and they might be hugging in the belly area a little bit. The neck size up was a little too big. Um, I think these are beautiful. Let me know what you think of them. But I just love the, the straighter leg line and how her waist is is not like it's, it's, it's defined. When you have any shape at all in the middle of your body and you wear a really skinny, um, pants with a two neck top, you're really highlighting that middle part of your body. Here, she just looks proportional, seamless, beautiful, elegant, long, lean, just all the things. I absolutely love that on her. Now she's showing it with like a puffer jacket on top, which is a great, um, you know, wintry look that is going to be really stylish. Again, even though the puffer jacket is full and, and, and you know, chunky, it's still going to narrow her body silhouette. And I think it's just beautiful. Okay, now she's showing um, the, the leather pants. I think these are the same leather pants. She's showing the leather pants with the white 
button down top tucked in. I love this look. I think this is modern, it's cool, it's fresh, it's flattering. I just like everything about it. I feel like it checks all the boxes. Now, here is Judy again in the leather pants with the white top, just done a little bit differently. I want you to I want you to give feedback in the comments about what you think of these faux leather pants on Judy. Are they a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Should she keep looking? Um, I asked her to send me some pictures where I could see a little bit more detail so I can kind of see what her concerns were about them. Overall though, at first glance, by looking at these pictures, I am very, very much loving that look. Very much loving that look. Okay, now Judy sent me this last picture is that beautiful burgundy moto jacket that she has with a white tee, simple white tee tucked in and those beautiful boot cut jeans. And, um, and it looks like a pair of boots. So I love, love, love the way this wine jacket kind of draws everything together, like pulls the outfit together, makes it an outfit with just the white t-shirt and jeans. You know how I feel about completer pieces. She's using just a white t-shirt and jeans rather than the floral top. And the burgundy moto jacket makes it an outfit, makes it chic, makes it modern, makes it elevated. And I just really very much like this look on her. So I hope that this helped you, that you got to know Judy a little bit, her beautiful, fun, and outgoing style. And got to see what it looks like on a real woman in her early 70s, beautiful woman in her early 70s, and her different um, outfits and, and how just a few small tweaks can take pieces that you already have in your wardrobe and make them so much more modern and so much more flattering. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you want to participate in this video. Um, the email address is support at netamanly.com. If you like this video and you want to see more in this body type series, um, first of all, participate. And second of all, give this video a like and let me know that you like it so I could do more like it. Um, comment, let me know what you think of, and let Judy know um, what you think of her gorgeous outfits. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We have the best time here and we would love to have you join us. I'll talk to you later. Bye.